Stop boxing. Um, sa Hawaii ay may isang batang Pinoy na pinasok ang amateur boxing sa edad na 14 at sa husay nito ay tatlong beses siya naging national champion at naging 2008 Olympic alternate sa flyweight division. Ang Pinoy na ito mga bay ay si Bruno Padegas Escalante Jr. na ipinanganak sa Cebu nga Cebu na ngayon ay naninirahan na sa California, USA. Noong September 8, 2018 ay lumaban si Bruno Escalante sa bakanting belt ng IBF Intercontinental Superfly title. Dito ay makakalaban niya ang matangkad at undefeated na Romanian na si Alessandro Marin na may kartadang 16 wins with 11 knockouts. Sa weigh-in at face-off ng dalawa ay nag-iinis itong undefeated Romanian at pinagmamalaki ang kanyang tangkad. Sa umpisa ng round 1 ay aggressive itong matangkad na kalaban at gustong i-corner si Escalante para durugin ang suntok. Mabigat ang kalabang ito para sa Pinoy at kumpleto strikados sa tangkad, sa lakas at sa bilis sumuntok. No, there's no doubt that he did punctuate that with the... And that's the end of round number one, finished off. Tinangka ni Escalante na sumugod pero talagang balakid ang reach advantage ng kalaban kung saan ay papalapit pa lang ang Pinoy ay sinasalubong na ito ng suntok. Right, and their current belt holder He's getting a little bit more courageous in there, walking down Escalante. Wonder though, Doug, I don't know if really able to dent Marin. Marin's a well-built... Para makasabay sa laban ay ang pag-counter sa mga atake ni Marin ang nakikita nating daan para makapatama ng puntos ang Pinoy. Dito nga ay hindi tayo binigo ni Escalante na kahit tumatalbog na ito sa mga suntok ni Marin ay kumakounter ito at napapaatras nga ang kalaban. Bruno Escalante is doing it out of the southpaw stance. Brandon Rios, who's a totally faded vet, had moments Hung in there. Garcia. Now, Garcia knocked him out when we got to the later rounds of that fight, once he um, would not exactly lead like pressure of Sean Porter. See Marin now crouching down on the inside, digging to the body. That might be the way to really open up Escalante. It's obvious, though, he's 21 fights, he's only scored seven stoppages. He's not really that much of a puncher. That's pretty low to the floor. Well, that's one of the things that the, uh, a taller fighter, and they'll talk about this in the gym. When you're going to be a taller fighter getting inside, they always think... Good left hand by Escalante. Medyo bumagal itong kalaban dito sa round 4 at hindi na ito ganoon kaagresibo ditulad sa mga nakalipas na round. Dito nga ay nagagawa na ni Escalante na makapatama ng suntok sa pamamagitan ng pagjumps. History tells us that you're like a one-way elevator. You're supposed to go up, not yeah, for Donaire. Eight or nine years ago. Yeah. I thought he yeah. Was At sa isang minuto na lang bago matapos ang round, ay naipamalas ni Escalante ang kanyang talento at nagkaroon ng sugat sa kanang kilay ni Marin mula sa suntok ng Pinoy. Probably isn't right. Yeah. <laughs> Weird, 
good. When he was taunting him yesterday in the way it hit until yeah. he got said I'm gonna kick him. Kareen has uh, over it's under the eyebrow. You know, it's just above the eyelid. I mind. think it was a clash of heads that did it, but I'm not sure. Well, if that's the case, we are going to make this fight official in about 10 seconds or less. So this fight, if it is stopped due to an accidental clash of heads, will go to a technical decision. That was a beautiful yeah. hook landed. That was, and that was from the orthodox stance from, right from Escalante landing left hooks and you know what that might have produced the cut over yeah. the right eye so this is off a oh, punch and that's yeah. a second sa panglimang round ay nakukaw na naman ang pagkadominante ni Marin sa laban at sa pag counter lang nakakasabay si Escalante and now you see Marin once again starting to bang the body trying to smother the smaller Escalante and it's because it's like this that I have Marin ahead in this fight. He's just simply. Again, Escalante, that power hand all of a sudden switches yeah. the backhand. Number five, it'll be interesting to see how the judges scored this particular frame. Yeah, I think this round five. Tunay naman dirigma ang Pinoy na si Escalante. Sa gitna ng kaliwat kanang pasabog ng undefeated Romanian, ay hindi sumusuko ang ating kababayan. Wala nga rin tayong nakikitang pamamagha sa mukha nito, hindi tulad sa kalagayan ng mukha ng kalaban. Try to keep this earning Marin. Orbiting left hook from the orthodox stance, let it go. See? I feel he needs to box from a distance and that Marin will give him opportunities to, to teach him. And they might be right. Good right hand. I think this is going to be another one of those rounds. Like, yeah, but I will say this though, I do think Marin has landed the majority of hard, heavy, clean shots. In this. Let's his hands yeah. go, I but just, he's but busy. And but, when, but, when he's not letting his hands go, Alonso. I have to be, to be honest. I wish Escalante would punch a little bit more. Right. Man. There's too many dead spots for him offensively. I agree. Okay. I'm just saying, <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if at least one of the official judges scores Alonso. Sa kalagitnaan ng round 7 ay nakatama ng pulido ang left hook ni Escalante at dito ngay nayanik si Marin at napangiti na lang sa minamaliit niya katunggali. Smile, be like Lulu Houghton, and oh, smile on the oh, attack. By Escalante. I, I tell you what, when Escalante is, 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 is an orthodox Probably it opens up more offensive opportunity. Good left hand again Ooh. by Escalante. Yeah. And these are eye-catching lefts that are snapping the head back. That might right. be good round for him. And his corner told him about a round or two ago, don't go for the knockout. You Sa pang walong round ay umarangkada ulit ang Pinoy sa pag-atake sapagkat bumabagsak na naman ang istamina ng Romanian. 
namumula at bahagyang duguan ang mukha ni Marin dahil sa paulit-ulit itong nadidiinan ng jobs ni Escalante. Why do you think OB deserve that decision? Well, I just thought yeah, outwork I, I think so the last six rounds was simply... Me and Beto nearly got whiplash looking at each other in <laughs> astonishment. <laughs> Kamakailan nga ay naging agresive ang ating kababayan at dito sa round 9 ay bumabawi ang kalaban at winawasiwas ng kombinasyon si Escalante. Pero wala itong sapat na lakas kung kaya't si Escalante ay nakipagsabayan na rin ng suntok. Dito sa final round ay sumugod agad si Marin habang si Escalante naman ay pinaigting muna ang depensa at hinihintay ang tempo para makapag-counter Ibubuhos na ng dalawa ang natitiray nilang lakas at siguradong kapanapanabik ang bawat segundo sa tumatakbong oras most rounds to win them on the judges scorecard. Yeah, he's had his moments. He's shown his career all together enough to win. But it's funny when you look at it, face. Yeah. That, I mean, just like you said, the last out, who knows? <laughs> standing and delivering inside the pocket but will it be too little too late against the more consistent Alexander Marin Escalante now coming on Marin trying to fight back final seconds of what's been oh, oh! well it's a slip Nauwi sa split decision ang resulta ng laban at pabor nga ito sa undefeated na kalaban. Gayon paman, ay maganda ang ipinakitang laban ni Bruno Escalante na kahit underdog ito ay pinahirapan na husto ang kanyang katunggali at itinaas ang bandila ng Pilipinas. Ito na rin ang naging huling laban ni Escalante at nag-focus na ito sa pagpapatakbo ng kanyang negosyo, ang Aloha Time Boxing. Samantalang si Alessandro Mari naman ay nagkaroon pa ng isang laban noong 2009 bago ito masangkot sa isang eskandalo sa credit card scheme noong 2020 at sa ngayon nga ay kasalukuyang nakakulong. Game over. Daghang salamat mga bay at hanggang sa dulo ay hindi pa rin kayo bumibitaw. Nais ko pong malaman ang inyong reaksyon sa ating video. Pakicomment na lang po sa baba at mapasahin po natin yan. Daghang salamat, mabuhay tayong lahat.